shout praise for peace on earth and she's calling out from a sea of hurt oh come oh come Good morning and Merry Christmas. Welcome to worship this morning. I invite you to get comfortable, maybe get something good to drink, a cup of hot chocolate or coffee or whatever you would enjoy this morning. Our service today is a series of readings that tell us the Christmas story, along with some of our favorite Christmas songs. I want to thank Karen and Bruce Wilcox for helping to put this service together. And just sit back, enjoy, and hear the story of the good news of Jesus' birth. We begin this worship in the name of our God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.
Jesus, the bright morning star, shines light in the world. By day and night he shines for all to see. Jesus was born in the midst of injustice and poverty. That the world may see the justice and richness of God. God so loved the world that God sent Jesus, so that all who believe in him may not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of our lives. Sing to God a new song, a song of hope, joy, and peace around the world. Let us pray. Gracious God of heaven and earth, you have thrown a lifeline to us in our darkness, a beam of light that shines through Jesus. Though born in a manger, he is the firstborn of all creation. Though crucified on a cross, he is the Lord of life. Fill us with the wonder and joy of his presence in the world and in our hearts. The first reading comes from Micah in the fifth chapter. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, you are one of the little clans of Judah. From you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. Thank you. 
second reading is from Luke, the first chapter, the 26th through the 35th verses, and the 38th verse. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give, him, give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom, of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Gentle Mary meekly bowed her head to me be as it pleadeth God, she said, My soul shall laud and magnify God's holy name, most high. The third reading comes from Matthew, the first chapter. 
Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had born a son, and he named him Jesus. The fourth lesson is from Luke, the second chapter, the 8th through the 20th verses. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you that is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left him and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem, and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed 
at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. The fifth reading comes from the second chapter of Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. It's great. 
final reading is from the Gospel according to John in the first chapter. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come, in, come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you.
Let us pray. Gracious God, as we celebrate on this special day, help us to know that wherever we are and whoever we are with, we are valuable, we are loved, we are children of God. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that as you've listened to these series of readings, these readings that tell us the story, that you heard words that spoke to you, to your heart. For me, as I listened to the words, I was reminded of something very important, and that was that everybody in this story, except for King Herod, was an ordinary person. It's a reminder that God does mighty things through ordinary people. Joseph, Mary, the shepherds, the wise people who came from afar, ordinary people who did extraordinary things, or maybe better, participated in something extraordinary. Sometimes when we think about what we might be invited to do, we think, hmm, but I'm just me. Yeah, you are just you and I am just me. But together, just like all of the people in this story, God does. God gives the ability to participate in amazing things. This year, as in all years, but I think this year particularly, God invites us to do something amazingly simple and at the same time, amazingly hard. And that is to see all of God's creation as God's beloved. To love your neighbor, even the ones who annoy you. One of my favorite Christmas books is a book supposedly written by a golden retriever named Trixie, and one page says that every family has an Aunt Edna, someone who's a bit obnoxious, kind of annoying, but Trixie says everyone is welcome at the table, even Aunt Edna. I'm very thankful for that because I'm sure I'm somebody's Aunt Edna, as are you. And we are all welcome. But we're also invited to love and welcome others. And maybe, just maybe, the way we find the peace that we celebrate this season is in that radical welcome that we offer to others. May you experience it this day and every day. Merry Christmas, and God bless you. Amen. It is you, loving God, who lights our path with truth. Your word, Jesus, is truth. In his light, draw all to the manger. 
to gather in wonder with the shepherds, and his light draw all to the manger, to, to kneel in reverence with the wise ones, and his light draw all to the manger, to, to sing, sing for joy with the angels. In the brightness of his life, cast away the darkness of injustice, poverty, and hunger in the world. It is you, loving God, who meets us on our way, in, in the, the light, light of Jesus, Jesus show, show the world the way, the way of life. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and also with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right to give our thanks and praise. praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ. In the wonder and mystery of the Word made flesh, you have opened the eyes of faith to a new and radiant vision of your glory, that beholding the God made visible, we may be drawn to love the God whom we cannot see. And so, with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth, and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. he was betrayed our Lord Jesus took bread he gave thanks for it broke it and gave it to his disciples to eat saying take and eat this is my body given for you do this in remembrance of me again after supper Jesus took the cup he gave thanks for it and gave it for all to drink saying in this cup is a new covenant in my blood which has been poured out for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin do this in remembrance of me. And gather remotely on this special day as Jesus' disciples. Let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us all to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I invite you to, as you listen to the come upcoming song, to serve yourselves communion within your home or enjoy the music. And we will serve ourselves right now. Take and eat the body of Christ given for you. Take and eat the body of Christ given for you. Take and drink the blood of Christ shed for you. Take and drink the blood of Christ shed for you. And then maybe you could serve me. Christ broken for you. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for you. Thank you. 
rocks, hills, and plains. Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat, repeat the sounding joy. No more let sin and sorrow grow, nor thorns infest the ground. He comes to me, his blessings flow, for as the curse is found, for as the curse is found, for as, for as the curse is found. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders of wonders of his love. May the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Let us pray. God, our Redeemer, you have fed us at this table with gifts of grace, truth, and life. As you have gathered us in joy, send us forth as messengers of your peace, Make us shine with the good news of your glory, born to us in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God, from whom all blessings flow. Praise God, all creatures here below. You are the shepherds telling the story. We tell it in the streets and across the land. You are the wise ones, worshiping with thanksgiving. We, we worship with, with gifts of, of song and, and service, talents and, and treasures. treasures. You are the angels announcing peace. We, we live with, with joy and go now in peace. peace. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Mary!
Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.